from the office here, so glad you guys could make it. And, uh, and stuff, but uh, what we're going to do is we are recording the meeting, and uh, so at times Brittany will just take and zoom in if we got stuff on the slides, that we need on the slides. She's going to zoom in because what we're going to do then is uh, Eunice will then take and put everything out on, uh, uh, send out an email and Brittany's going to have it up on YouTube for us. So if you had questions after you leave here today, did we hear this or that right, uh, you can go on YouTube and uh, it'll be on there so you can rewatch it. But man, for those who didn't make it today, they have a chance to watch it. I'm Jeff Will, for those who don't know me, I'm glad that you're all here today. I think you all know who I am. And uh, my wife Maria will be our tour host, and her and I will be your host on the trip here. And at any time, feel free to help yourself with some coffee, a dish decaf, a water. And uh, Eunice has some uh, horrible, horrible bars and cookies over there. She's not making a cake at all. Uh, uh, no, they're very good over there. So, uh, be sure to help yourself during the meeting to some bars and cookies over there. And uh, to start off the meeting, we're going to have uh, Dave Semerod from. Uh, uh, Collectification, and he's going. He's the representative I've been working with. He's going to run through the trip and everything. He's going to talk about certain details, and then I'm going to come follow up at the end. Some of my slides might be the same. I'll just kind of skip over them. But then I'm going to talk about our flight time, when we're, when you should be at the airport, who's flying out of Bismarck, who's flying out of Fargo, and I'll give all those details. So you'll have an idea of who's flying from where, and everything. And uh, probably first of all, before I turn it over to you, Dave, uh, why don't we just start right here and have you introduce yourself, and uh, that way everyone will kind of have an idea uh, who they're going to be traveling with. I'm Bruce Caseman. June Caseman. From where? Wishing. 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 Okay. So you're flying out of business. Um, Dave Kramer. Colleen Kramer. I just walked down the hall. I work here in <laughs> Central. Flying out of Fargo. Out of Fargo, Diane Muskie. Dale Muskie. And we're flying out of Fargo. We're from Dayton. Maury Albright from Jamestown here, we're here. John Albright. Okay, stay outside. I'm Terry Cassett, and I'm flying with Jerry Spooley, and we're flying out of Bismarck. We're from Kitsilani, and I also work here. And you guys are flying out of Fargo, Fargo. correct? Okay. Marvin Doctor. Carlene Doctor. Baldwin, we're flying out of Fargo. Baldwin is going to Bismarck, about 12 miles. We're flying out of Fargo? Yes. We got a basketball game Friday and Saturday. <laughs> <at> <laughs> <the> <laughs> family family down We got a basketball game Friday night and Saturday afternoon, so instead of going back home, we just we got a room in Fargo spending the night. So. Jerry's son lives up at Baldwin, up by Baldwin. Okay. We're flying out of Dickerson's. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my name is Kevin Whitmer. I'll be flying out of Fargo with my wife, Barbara. All right, and then we have... I'm Eunice. I work here. I'm Jeff's right-hand person. She is the main right-hand man, right? Right-hand woman. And uh, you probably deal with her on the phone more than you do me, most likely. And then in the back over here, we have Suzanne from James Talk Travel, who we worked with over there. So now you have a face. To the name, um, call call over to James on travel. You talk to Suzanne all the time. And glad you can make it here today to Suzanne in case you have questions on things. So with that, Dave, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. And of course, Maria David, over here. Sorry. Oh yeah, you've already introduced yourself. But um, my name is David. I am the sales rep from Colette. I manage both Minnesota and North Dakota. And thankfully, we were able to reschedule this because uh, the roads today were much nicer than they were on Monday. So thank you for your flexibility. I'm going to be walking through essentially all the finer details of this tour. Um, we'll do an abridged version of the slideshow just to get you a feel of what you're going to be experiencing when you take off on Sunday. And I just checked the weather reports. It is officially... 87 degrees warmer in Hawaii right now, okay? Without wind chill, okay? So we could be in the hundreds, literally. And that's frightening to consider that it's so cold here, but it is a gorgeous 74 degrees currently in Hawaii. And you're gonna be going to three islands while you're on this trip. You will have a full-time tour manager with you by the name of Corey, which Jeff has, uh, whom Jeff has already spoken to. And then Marie will also be with you. 
You are in exceptional hands. Not only do you have Suzanne in the background here taking care of all of the finer details between the vendors and everything, but you have an amazing tour. What I'd like to do, and you may have these packets either with you or at home, but I'm just gonna walk you through this stuff. I used to be a tour manager with Colette for about five years, so I've traveled all over the world, and I just wanna give you some friendly reminders of how to prepare for these types of trips and how to maximize your enjoyment and eliminate some of the small hiccups that can oftentimes happen. I think the most important thing to consider and remember is that travel is fun, it's exciting, and if you have any problems, be sure to talk to your tour manager about it so that they can fix it quickly. I personally was raised in Minnesota. I'm Minnesota nice. We feel compelled to bite our tongues when something bad happens. We don't want to return things. We don't want to speak out too much. But this is where it's really appropriate for you to speak up if there is something wrong with your room, uh, the location of uh, the room, uh, if it's too close to the ice machine, whatever the circumstances might be, you have the opportunity to just talk to your tour manager very quickly about it and resolve it immediately. And that's something as simple as when you go into your room before you unpack everything. <coughs> make sure that the faucets work, make sure that the shower works, uh, make sure that the safe works because you'll have a safe in each of the rooms. And just make sure that you're comfortable while you're on this trip. The most frustrating thing as a tour manager over all my years, all the countries I traveled uh, to, was the fact that I would find out about problems after I couldn't do anything about it. So this is your vacation. You deserve it. You live in the frozen tundra along with me and many other people and enjoy yourself and just know that you're in good hands. So we're gonna start off at the very beginning. Uh, there is a shuttle to the airport that is arranged with Jeff and he's gonna be making sure that everyone makes it to the Fargo airport together. They don't let you uh, start checking in until 4.30 in the morning. If you're looking for an easy option, and we just discussed this, and you have one of these smartphones, download the United app, and then you can check in 24 hours prior to departure. And you don't even have to print your tickets, you can just have a scanner code that's sent to either your email, text, whatever it might be, or directly to the app itself and all they do literally is just scan that barcode and you're ready to go. At which point you can also check in 24 hours before departure. You're all allowed, not by airline standards, but by Colette standards, you're allowed one bag per person up to 50 pounds. What I suggest is that you pack about 25, 30 pounds and then leave room for miscellaneous items that may come along back with you except for the volcanic rocks. Leave those behind. Trust me, okay? Um, when I travel to warm weather destinations, I was just telling Jeff and Maria that I went to Mexico for an impromptu trip. I tried to pack uh, smartly, and I used half of that bag. So what I'm saying is that with it being 74 to 80 degrees every single day, shorts and t-shirts, uh, Hawaiian shirts, flip-flops or comfortable sandals or walking shoes. Um, you're gonna wanna be comfortable, but in the evenings I can cool down to uh, 72. So uh, with that being said, bring your sunscreen with you. Make sure that you are well prepared because guaranteed if you don't buy it here, you're gonna be twi paying twice as much in Hawaii once you get there. Now that size bag is per person. Per person. And all of the baggage is handled at the beginning and the end of the tour. So when you get <coughs> to the airport, you'll have your tour manager along with the uh, transportation <coughs> driver that will be meeting you. They'll grab your bags, and that's where these are really convenient. They're uh, straps that go around your entire bag. I would encourage you to use some uh, distinguishing uh, characteristics, whether it be a tag or one of these items right here. Uh, this can go right on your uh, luggage and it helps the tour manager identify your bags and just pull them off so that they can be put directly on the coach. And then once you get to the hotel, they're brought up to your room and vice versa when you're checking out, they'll grab your bags and bring them down to the coach. This and is the only way, yes? Oh, so, and that grain tag, uh, <coughs> way to put that tag on actually until you pick up your suitcase in Hawaii. For the simple reason, that one there has 
uh, room on the back, and that's where they will write your room number on when they when it gets to the hotel, so they know that they have a spot where they can write the room number. The other luggage tag, you can go ahead because there's two luggage tags in there. You can put that one on right away because that's a hard cover that's got a stronger strap on it. Uh, put that one on right away. But the green one there that you have, have it filled out with your information, have it in your carry-on bag so you can put it on your suitcase when we get to the airport uh, before they take them uh, and put them on the bus. And just remember too, you don't have to have all of your information. Most importantly, just your, your full name. name and your phone number. Because we're still within the United States, you don't have to get any special type of plan to call from Hawaii back to the mainland. So just put your name and your phone number on there. No reason to have your physical address there. Um, and this is just makes it easier for people to keep track. And then if you're a couple, let's say you have two different last names, or if you're, you're traveling with a friend, make sure that it's just your individual name that's identified in your individual bag. Oftentimes I find that uh, you have a couple and they, they just put Rob Johnson on both of them. Um, just put your own individual name on each of them just to keep track because the tour manager will keep track of all of these. In five years, I never lost one bag, but I almost did about 37 times, and it was because of those miscellaneous items that become big details when it comes down to it. Um, this is also a nice thing that you, I, I would encourage you to share with all of your loved ones. This is a list of all of the hotels that we're staying at with all the contact information. Make copies of this, uh, do whatever you want with it. The other thing that I would highly recommend you do, again, smartphone app, we have what's called Colette Compass. It's an app that's free, first of all. Secondly, it's made specifically for you, our Colette passengers. And thirdly, it doesn't require wireless internet for you to access the information. So essentially, it takes this entire booklet right here and compresses it into your phone. So you've got a map while you're traveling. You've got um, a literal compass that will show you where you are. The one thing I remember when I was on a, a familiarization tour of Spain and Portugal, and we had just exited dinner, evening was free for the rest of the night, and we had a group of friends who were like, what should we do now? And I opened up my Colette app, and it showed within a two block area where every single bar, restaurant, museum was, and then you could just kind of choose where you wanted to go from there. So it's kind of like your personal concierge just right inside of here. So if you have a smartphone, download that app. And then the way that you check in is with your own personal reservation number here in your last name. So it's really easy, very user friendly, but then it will upload all of that information onto your phone so that you can easily access it. Otherwise, you can just go old school and just use written material, and this is easy too. You can write notes down, you can take um, pictures. pictures. Yeah, with this, you can take pictures, you can write notes too. So, uh, the next. Yeah, how long till your next trip starts? <coughs> Four days. <laughs> yes. Tell us where we've been in the past, so it has past trips on there. Uh, on there. So it's, yeah. it's a very good app, well worth putting it onto your phone. Yep, and it's free. And so that's the best part. And it's really nice way to look back on things because, Jeff, this is what the third trip to Hawaii with Colette. Um, this is something that you may do year after year after year, or at least every other year. Um, enjoy yourself, but to be able to look back and take pictures and remember the unique experiences that you had, that's pretty awesome. And this is all the information right here is the Colette app right there. It's nothing really complicated. You just look for it on your phone, whether it's an iPhone or a Galaxy or a Samsung or whatever it might be. Um, so you have all of your flights inside of here. This will let you know when you plan on arriving, when you plan on departing. Just remember that the first day when you arrive, you'll be met at the airport by your tour manager. Your tour manager should have with them some maps, some suggestions for free time activities, because there will be an open evening for you once you get to Hawaii, which is nice. It gives you time to take a nap, nap re uh, relax, check out the property, get familiar with the local area, but then with your tour manager's assistance, you kind of get a lay of the land 
with the maps and the suggestions of free time activities. And then of course you have these two veterans right here that will also be with you and can guide you in the right direction. Um, so as we walk through here, essentially it's got all the transfer information that you would need to know. You do not need a passport for this trip unless you plan on continuing abroad after the trip is uh, through. Um, however, as a side note and a complete side note, I just got a new identification for Minnesota. If you're from Minnesota, I believe that North Dakota has enhanced IDs already, so you don't have to worry about that. So forget that I even mentioned that. Um, I was going to try to be helpful, but it wasn't relevant to this particular situation. We just want to say welcome to the 21st century of Minnesota. Uh, thank you. <laughs> One of only three states in the entire United States that doesn't have these. Um, it's great. One thing I could suggest to you, however, is if you do uh, frequently uh, travel, get a um, get at least a TSA pre-check pass or a global entry where if you're traveling abroad, you can just kind of skip through the lines and just go straight to the front. It's a really nice fringe benefit of being in the travel industry, but it does cost approximately $100, $150 for every five years that you use it. So is anyone here doing the post extension to the big island by any chance? Maria and I and the other ones going on up here. So. <coughs> Very good. So inside of here, you'll have your itinerary that goes through each and every single day. I know that Jeff has added a lot of additional items to this trip that are really going to enhance your appreciation and your enjoyment of Hawaii. So if you ever have any questions, always feel free to consult with Jeff and or your tour manager while you're on tour. And this literally walks through each and every single day. Uh, you've got a hotel contact list again for your reference, but again, if you have the Colette app, you really don't have to think about that too much. Um, all the transportation is taken care of, so you really don't need to worry about much. All of our hotels are beachside, right downtown. Uh, you're walking distance to everything. You should feel safe in these neighborhoods. You should go out and explore. Um, if there's an evening that's free, just ask your tour manager or even the concierge at the hotel what they might suggest because you can do anything from fine dining to just some fresh seafood that was caught that day out in the ocean. Um, I know that some of you might be looking into doing some additional activities, whether it be snorkeling, scuba diving, sailing. Uh, Hawaii is a plain land like no other and it is so beautiful and you're going at such a perfect time especially considering the weather we've had for the last couple of days so kudos to you clothing and packing tips essentially it's kind of part of the course as i just mentioned earlier dress lightly um, the beautiful thing about hawaii even if you're at a fine restaurant the most you might see people doing are slacks and their nice Hawaiian shirt, the one without holes in it, okay? And flip-flops are embraced everywhere. Or just comfortable walking shoes. I want to make sure that you're comfortable. But also remember that we're all from the Midwest. We're all very, very pale at this point in the winter. Um, do put sunscreen on, wear hats, bring your sunglasses with you. And again, pick up that sunscreen before you go because you'll pay twice as much once you get there. Um, and packing tips too, if you want to bring some extra bags with you, um, feel free to do so. Oftentimes people will just bring an empty duffel bag with them for those presents that they want to bring home for their family and friends. So you can do that. Just be ready to pay extra for that extra bag. Okay. Uh, Gratuities, that's an important uh, consideration. The only part to this tour that is not included are the gratuities. So you'll have your tour manager with you each and every day. You'll have a driver on each of the islands. So each of those uh, individuals will um, would love to have a tip from you. By the sheer nature and definition of gratuity, it is gratuitous. It's above and beyond. So. Only if you're uh, if they're exceeding your expectations and you're really enjoying yourself. I always hate to go to a restaurant where you get terrible service and then you still feel compelled to tip them. Um, 
don't tip people unless they're doing a really good job, okay? But also know that it's an industry standard. There are some daily recommended <coughs> allowances. Um, if you want to set some of that money aside before the trip begins, you can, but this isn't an international tour once again, so you don't have to worry about exchanging money or anything. Just go to the cash machine. They do accept US dollars all over Hawaii, just like they do on the mainland. So, um, main badges, I think that uh, Jeff will be getting into that. Meals, any meals that are included in this trip, uh, the gratuities are also included. That also goes for the baggage handling, so you don't have to pay the porters when they come to pick up your bags before you leave the hotel, and vice versa when your bags are being brought up to the rooms that's all included, okay? We want to make sure that you don't have to think too much about all of the additional stuff. We try to be as inclusive as possible with the trips that we have. Uh, time zone, five hours behind <coughs> Eastern standard, standard and six hours behind, uh, excuse me, so um, six hours difference. Four. Four, four hours. Excuse me. For us, I was thinking East, East Coast. So that's not too bad, but it's just enough to throw you off a little bit. If you care to take some sleep aids, um, I would recommend like a Tylenol PM if you need help. Otherwise, some chamomile tea always works really well. I recommend that you don't drink too much alcohol prior to traveling. It is a longer flight going over to Hawaii. The best way to deal with jet lag and travel in general is just be well hydrated. You may also want to start taking some vitamin C packets right now before you go uh, so that your immune system is nice and sturdy before you get there. Because the last thing I want you to do is get a cold when you're in 70 degree weather. It just doesn't make sense. Um, I believe that's about all I really care to uh, address here. Uh, I'm just going to go through the slideshow real quickly. Uh, this really is a compressed <coughs> slideshow that just gives you some ideas of what you're going to be experiencing while you go there. Waimea Canyon, which is considered the Grand Canyon of the Pacific, the USS Arizona Memorial. And Jeff will give you an update on this current status of that. It's a bit compromised at the moment. Um, you will all receive a floral lay when you do uh, come. As I mentioned, we'll do the Arizona right now, wait until you have it up there. Uh, right now, they have found damage on the structure itself that goes out over the top of the Arizona, so we're unable to go on the platform and walk over the top of it and then see the memorial that's in there. However, they are still taking the uh, shuttle boat from where you go from the island to the shuttle out. We will still take that out and go float across it, so you will still get a chance to see it. Uh, and looking down at it, it's just that we will not be going on to the structure itself that you see there. Uh, so they're still, uh, until they can get that fixed, they know the importance of people going out there. In fact, this is one of the few federal government monuments that was not shut down because the volunteers said, no, we are not shutting it down. And the volunteers stepped in for the uh, National Park Board and helped them. And I will say also, I just got back from Texas. Uh, there are some places down in San Antonio too that the volunteers uh, took over so the places could stay open for the visitors coming in and stuff. So we do have some really great people out there to come in the park system did let them take over so they could keep the tours going as much as they could there. But we will not get out to the structure, but we will still be able to float over it. Uh, and uh, the only other thing that is in addition to the USS Arizona is we have extended the tour. It used to just be a two hour stop. It's now a five hour stop. So you have time to check out the museums there. Then in that five hours, we'll get back on the bus and then also go over to the USS uh, Missouri. I was going to say Lexington, no, that's the one down in uh, Corpus Christi. I was <coughs> uh, the USS Missouri, which is where the treaty was signed to end the World War. So you're going to see what started the World War, and you'll be able to go onto the ship and see where they signed the treaty to end the World War. And that was not in the tour originally. Uh, that is not part of their trip, but we had the trip. This was part of the customizing 
uh, where our trip is a little bit more than others. It's due to special customized.